Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape, and I'm here for another Jscape MFT server tutorial. All this time, you've been uploading loads upon loads of files onto your Azure Blob storage container. But now, you have this workflow that will be needing some of those files on a monthly basis. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to configure Jscape MFT Server so that it will download a certain set of files from your Azure Blob Storage container on a predefined schedule. Here we are once again in Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer, where you can see the files text1.txt, text3.txt, and text4.txt alongside file01.txt. These are all found inside my Azure blob container named jcpv-test. Let's say all I want to download are the files with the file names text asterisk dot text. Let's now head over to my Jscape MFT server instance so we can configure the settings that would download the files in question. I'm going to assume you already have a Microsoft Azure blob service trading partner in your trading partners module. If you don't know how to create one yet, please refer to the online documentation. I've provided a link to the relevant page in the description or in the post. In most cases, all you need to enter for the trading partner parameters are your storage account name and its corresponding access key. However, there may be some instances when you'll need a different endpoint suffix. For example, you may be using core.usgovcloudapi.net, which is Azure for the US government, or core.cloudapi.de, which is for the Azure German cloud. There are others, so you need to be sure you're actually using core.windows.net, which is the default. Otherwise, you'll need to replace that. Lastly, you might want to tick the Use SSL checkbox, which ensures a secure connection between Jscape MFT Server and Azure. Just be sure SSL TLS is also enabled on the Azure side. Once you have your Azure Blob Service trading partner ready, you may then proceed to the Triggers module to set up the trigger responsible for downloading those files. Click the Add button to add a new trigger. For those who are using Jscape MFT Server 12.1 and higher, you'll be presented with a trigger template dialog where you can choose a template that best describes the workflow you're about to automate. Let's just leave that blank for now and click OK. Give this trigger a descriptive name, say, download multiple files from Azure Blob Storage. And because I want this trigger to fire on a predefined schedule, I'm going to select the current time event type and then select next to enter the specific time and date parameters in the succeeding screen. I want this trigger to fire every 19th of the month at 9.05 a.m. So I'm going to build the expression as shown on the screen. Click next to proceed. In the next screen, click the add button to add a new trigger action. When the Add Action dialog pops up, expand the Action drop-down list and then select Trading Partner Regex File Download. Click OK to proceed. Once you get to the Action Parameters dialog, start by selecting your Azure Blob Trading Partner from the Partner drop-down list. In my case, that would be TP-Azure Blob. Next, enter the name of your Azure Blob container into the Remote Directory field. If you recall, that would be jcpv-test. Expand the expression type drop-down list and then select either Regular Expression or Wildcard. I'm going to choose Regular Expression for now. And so in the Regular Expression field, enter the regular expression that would match the files you want to download from your Azure Blob container. Lastly, specify the local directory where you want those downloaded files to be stored. Click OK and then drag an arrow from the start output of the workflow node to the trading partner synchronization node. And then click OK to finalize the trigger creation process. That's it. 
Now you know how to configure Jscape MFT server so it can download multiple files from Azure Blob Storage.